Hello, welcome back to Ndibuti and Pastor Bay. We are still on check, church reality check. Ndibuti, check reality church. Yeah. <laughs> ah, no, I, I, I'm I, saying what I wanted to say that, but it's church reality check. Yeah. So we are we are on CRC now, Singu Riki uh, today, you know. So we are busy, we are reviewing the church. And I know Riki, uh, uh, they say, uh, what do they call it? Um, they say take with pride. What do they call it, man? Like, uh, still with pride. So, Ricky is going to still with pride. I can I know that he's going to bring this uh, topics if he has not done it already. Oh, you mean he's going to steal our topics? Yeah, with pride. Ah, I'm sure he has already done that. Yeah, so, okay, it's fine. So now... So in this case, baby, you can just call yourself a copycat. Okay, I'm a copycat. Mm. Ricky, I copied you. So, now, the point, the, the, po the, the topic that I want to bring forth now, uh, it's about technology in the church. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so technology in a sense, you already... Uh, now, this is me. I am a, a, a let's say, as a church, uh, we, we decide to video videograph uh, everything that is happening to church. Yes. You know, uh, the sermons, we, we videograph the, yeah. uh, like, even if it's a cell phone, right? Yeah. Uh, like, I'm taking videos of what is happening in the church, right? And to, to keep it uh, either as a message, but then again, I want to talk specifically about videography and the technology usage within the church. Yeah. Let's say, for instance, it's Twitter, it's uh, like you're, you're, you're streaming, you're doing all these things in the church and stuff yeah. like that. Now, I want to talk about that. Uh, do you think it's a, it's a good thing or do you think it's a bad thing? Maybe um, it could be two ways, but say your, your piece. I think it's a good thing. It's a good thing when we look at the fact that um, it's... Like, Mina, when I'm, say, example, when I'm on TikTok, right, mm. um, I'm usually seeing, like, trending things, people dancing, um, nudity, half-naked women, and when I come across somebody talking about God, mm. I, I love it because mm. it's something that I can relate to, something that I know that is going to help my spirit, going to build me. And I think it, it is very good that also the kingdom of God should also dominate mm. the social media platform so that even our children, when we go, when they go on social media, because one thing for sure is that all of us, we're going to end up there mm. on social media. So it's very important that we find the content that also speaks to us, not just the content of the kingdom of darkness. Mm. And when it comes to that at church, I mean, I'm fully for it because it's not everybody that is going to get up and go to church. Mm. But there are people that are going to see when they are on YouTube, they find that, oh, there's this church that is uh, live stream, let me watch. Or maybe they've live stream, let me watch. Mm. Tomorrow you might actually feel like, let me get up and actually go to church. That is soul winning in a way. These days we don't actually have to walk on the street and approaching everybody. Hey, have you accepted Jesus? As you, you can literally just write it on Twitter. You know, we can like there was a time where in I think that was two weeks ago where in I wrote, uh, I felt in, I felt compelled in my spirit to write a salvation prayer on community post, mm. and a lot of people commented and said, oh I needed this today I needed this today. So it's sometimes it comes as, as 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 a reminder as well to those that knows the Lord and to those also that don't know the Lord that hey there's actually a higher power mm. there's actually God. So if we don't if we keep it amongst ourselves, it it remains there in that cycle where in it's you just preach to those people only. So, Mina, I, I support it. Don't you think there's a trap of uh, churches bit by bit conforming to the world day standards? Yeah, there is that. And sometimes um, I wanted to say that, unfortunately, hey, the battery is beeping there. Yeah, um, it started now, so we can okay, push so that's this topic. Fine. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, when there are cameras in front of you, mm. you don't become yourself. Ah, when this was Allah, baby. Even the prayer, like Nami, if now if you say, Indi, will pray. Mm. It's going to be, oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I worship you. Because I know people are watching. But if I'm alone, like, you know, I'm, I'm myself. Yeah, I'm gen authentic. Genuine. I'm genuine yeah. because I'm speaking to, to God. Uh. But when there are cameras, mm. things change. Mm. We, we react differently. Mm. Like, I mean, I've got a problem of when I'm praying at church. I, I was even telling you the other day that I hope the church will not post me on their social platforms. Mm. Like, because even when I'm praying now, I'm thinking, I see the flesh on my face, like somebody's taking me a video. I'm not comfortable. Mm. I don't like it because mm. it, it's, it's my moment with God. Mm. I don't want the world to be, you know, mm. not that I'm ashamed. I'm not ashamed of it. I can go talk about God. Mm. But when I'm there, now I have to wonder, no signal, like, am I like this? Mm. Am I frowning? Well, because now uh, there's a camera in front of yeah. me. Like, uh, maybe it, it, it would be better if maybe they just focus on... On the pastor. On the pastor and the message. Not literally be taking... Like, sometimes you see people posting pictures of people crying at church. Which I'm like, uh, maybe it's good, it's bad. But if I'm... I, bad. I don't, I don't want to be 
filmed, especially without even my permission. Mm. I don't want to be filmed. There are people that I remember there was you once upon a time when you come from a Lutheran church, and if now the pastor, the, the, the church is going to be videorizing you praying in tongues. My, my it's, mother now. Yeah, my it's, father. it's a strange thing when it comes to your parents, yeah. you know. So I think it's 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 and, and I feel like it's it's a bit of it's um invasion of privacy. Mm. I'm going to church for my own reasons. Now I'm on I, I'm on Instagram. The pastor didn't, nobody asked me mm. when I entered the church. Nobody said poppy act. Ndibu, are you comfortable? Like at ch even at school, we sign those forms mm. that are we allowing them to to, mm. to to be posted on social media? And sometimes mm. we'll say no, sometimes we'll say yes. So now me, I feel I have the right mm. to say I don't want to be videorized because now you end up posing for the camera. I mean, I know camera, I'm in front of the camera here. Mm. There are things that I would never do. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I, of I course. will never do because I'm here. Mm. And I mean, I have to watch my myself yeah, now. Yeah. I can't just jump up high and run like a lunatic in church mm. and go back and forth. You know, like obviously depending on, on whether I'm used to the church in that type of way. But I, I, I limit myself in terms of the things I can do. And like my, my, my thing here is that you know, the, the, like going back to what I spoke about earlier, societal standards. Yeah. The problem is that like you have to conform to what the government says. So if you're going to be filmed saying controversial things, things that are not acceptable from a government point of view, right? If you're going to be filmed, you, you have to think as a pastor, no, man, hey, the, the, the society, how are they going to take what I'm saying? You know, and you find yourself, I'm not saying it's like that for everyone. Oh, but it's like that, baby. You remember, um some yeah some time when we were at church mm. um the pastor said thank god we are not live streaming mm. now i can tell you what happened on that day mm. like he was giving he was telling us a story mm. and he said this story i will not tell it on the second session because <laughs> it's going to be live streamed yeah so you are limited yeah. you know that you're not comfortable fair point baby. yeah fair point. so so there are certain things that you can't say because you know when you are being recorded yeah you can't be genuine and say things as they are if the bible says that this is a sin when you can't say it because you know, hey, if I say it, then, you know, the society, yeah. like, the, the so government. For instance, you can't even go and say, the Bible says, what the Bible says about LGBTQI. Exactly. What the because, Bible says about gay, what yeah. the Bible says about lesbians. Because you know it's going to go to social media. Mm. And you're going to trend. Amen. And you're going to be, you're going to lose mm. your, your followers now. Exactly. And now you can't preach the truth. But let the truth be the truth. Mm. Let the truth, let the word of God be the judge. Mm. In as much as the, like, I agree with you, it's good that the, the, the sermons are being um, captured and they are going to be shown to various people that are not able to go to church. Some of them, they do not know Christ. They are, they are just scrolling through their phones and then they, they get a message that changes their lives forever. I get that fully. But my only challenge with that is, is the conformance to the standard. The fact that I am, I, I, I am being filmed, I have to behave in a yeah. particular way. I cannot do things that, like, if I want to lie down and just worship God. Oh, just cry and weep. I know that I have to lie down in a proper manner yeah. so that the camera, the camera does will not capture find me. me, you know, yeah. in a specific moment. So I, I, I get that, but at the same time, I do not get it. Uh, and I kind of feel like eventually the church would conform fully. I think they should, in everything, right, there should be boundaries. Mm. There should be protocols. Mm. There should be the way of doing Like, I feel like the leadership are the ones that should sit and check or why are we doing this how can we do it better how can mm. we better serve the people mm. instead of just doing it because everybody's doing it so so how was the old time religion operating how were they winning souls Life. without the 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 the, the video graphic yeah i remember when like we, we 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 when we were still in crc church we used to stand by the robots. We used uh, to approach people like, accept God as a savior. Spread the gospel. We will give them pamphlets and everything. But now we do posters. Uh, wherein we can do companion. Companion, like uh, if I've got a friend, I can literally invite my friend to church. I can tell Christ about, like then we win each other. We continue. That's yeah. so winning. It right? was uh, word of mouth. Exactly. So there's still that opportunity. However, the world has now transformed completely such that technology is key. Yeah, people it's just like... There was once uh, when we were telling church years back where in the pastor had was using, I mean, the pastors now use tablets. Mm. So the, the pastor was using, I think that time she was using a phone mm. and the phone switched off. Mm. And oh, it was nyaka nyaka <laughs> now. We, we, we worshipped until we were tired. <laughs> she kept like, the, the last days we must sing, he touched me. At that time she's checking with I don't have a charger. It was not the, a she, yo. Eh? It was not a she. <laughs> you see, it was not a she, it was a he. So... <laughs> We, 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 we were forced to, to, to sing, he touched me until the church was over and yeah. he said, God said we must just worship. But we know, Tina, 
on behind the scene, we knew that the phone was off. We were trying to, and unfortunately, he was rich. He mm. was using an iPhone at that time. Nobody had an F iPhone and check, so nobody had that charger. Mm. But the, we came, we went to church, and we left with just he touched me song because the yeah, church technology has, has yeah. Has but if he, if we, he had done it, I mean, <laughs> the right way, the Paper. old way, papers. The message would have no, we, we wouldn't have disappeared. Mm. So, so but th this is our view, uh, and and obviously you have your own view about it. What do you think about it? The only challenge that I'm facing right now when I'm seated here is that the church is going to transform with the world, and that's my bigger problem. And not only church but religion is transforming with the world. And some of the time, or, or, or at at some point in time, we would end up being a church that has forgotten. Uh, a religion or a religion that has forgotten God and we are now focused on how to better serve God based on what the technological standards and the worldly standards are saying, you know, and that's what I fear the most when it comes to where the religion is going. Mm. But hey, until next time from the T and Pastor Bay, Tinas Funuya, I'm a bishop. If, if you feel we are bringing interesting topic, eh, eh, get other people to talk about them. Tina, I'm a bishop with this it's Ama Bishop. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Pastor Bay saying sponsorships. Hamban. Hey, uh, Opportunities. Hamban. Mina, eh, eh. Mina, this is my bishop, Ama Bishop. I will speak about it here. Until next time from Ndiwiti and Pastor Bay. This was Church Reality Check. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> ah.